Meghan Markle always looks impeccable and with glowing skin. While the Duchess has not disclosed her current routine, she has given some an eye to her beauty secrets in the past. What has she said? Meghan Markle shared with fans many beauty tips on her blog The Tig. In interviews, the Duchess also revealed some of her wellness secrets. Meghan explained she exercises often to stay in shape and she claimed Megaformer Pilates is one of her favorite workouts as it is the best thing you could do for your body. Your body changes immediately. Give it two classes and you will see a difference, she said. In a health and wellness interview, she also revealed she takes several classes in a friend's studio in Los Angeles. Her friend Heather Dorick's Megafomer Pilates Studio offers 12 classes for £745 or alternatively, private Megafomer Pilates machines sell for around £16,700. Megan also revealed she tries to avoid coffee in the afternoon and opts for green juices instead. It's easy to fall into the trap of rushing for a coffee when you hit that 4 p.m. slump. I blend some apple, kale, spinach, lemon, and ginger in my Vitamix in the morning, and I always find that sipping on that is a much better boost than a cup of espresso," she explained. The Vitamix blender has a price tag of around £350. Megan also takes good care of her skin and used to see London facialist Nicola Joss for sculpting facial massages. I do facial exercises from one of my favorite aestheticians, Nicola Joss, who basically has you sculpt your face from the inside out," she told Birchbox. Speaking about the routine she said, I swear it works, as silly as you may feel. On the days I do it, my cheekbones and jawline are way more sculpted. Monthly facial massages have a cost of around £350. However, you can get a similar result by massaging your face using a facial roller every night. Facial rollers are an alternative trick which can be found on Amazon for less than £10. Megan also takes probiotics which she previously explained are the best remedy for jet lag. According to one of her posts, she takes Dr. Oyer's probiotics which will keep your gut health in check and stave off jet lag. 60 probiotic capsules have a cost of £30 which after taking them every day that would mean a cost of around £300 a year. To stay in good shape, especially after having children, Megan trains with the best personal trainers. She has previously trained with Craig McNamee while filming her series Suits. The personal trainer charges around £90 for an hour session. Presuming celebrities usually train at least twice a week, that would have a cost of £4,500 per year. Based on the routines and treatment Meghan explained she follows on a daily basis, the Duchess spends at least £26,000 on her wellness per year. However, fans can always follow her beauty tricks opting for cheaper alternatives. Another news, since stepping back as senior royals last January, the Sussexes have signed a string of lucrative deals with the likes of Netflix and Spotify. They have also been accused of hypocrisy for taking private planes, which emit a notoriously large carbon footprint, while preaching about the importance of climate change. Their Archule Foundation has also been accused of asking people to share their personal stories of compassion to fund commercial ventures. On its website, the foundation said, share your story for a chance to be featured. Tell us, what does compassion mean to you? How have you, or someone you know, actioned compassion in your community? Or, Describe a time where you have felt connected with friends, family, or your community, despite the distance. In June, Private Eye reported that for every submission there is a Terms and Conditions section which appears to state that Harry and Meg can benefit from it themselves. This perceived use of their platforms to make money has not gone unnoticed, according to PR expert Eric Schiffer. Mr. Schiffer, the chairman of Reputation Management Consultants, told Newsweek. This is another clever way to extend their brand in ways that align with the affinities of Gen Z and younger millennials. But in many ways, it's dangerous because it's getting to the point where it's borderline a department store mentality, where they're looking for every possible extension of how they can apply and monetize. He also went on to suggest the nature of their endeavors is overly commercial. He added, I think they're getting to the point where it could be deadly from a brand perspective because it will start to raise questions of their true intent and alignment with some of these causes that are part of the rollout. It comes as a royal expert said the couple struggled to stir up significant interest after their fake royal tour in New York. Royal expert Jonathan Sacerdoti argued that regardless of how Meghan and Harry dress it up, their trip to New York was not a royal tour. He claimed the duo were on a fake royal tour or working holiday. He added, the pair may have been filming as part of their upcoming Netflix project, further distancing themselves from royal tour standards. Mr. Sacerdoti also commented on how much attention the duo receive and whether they can successfully capture the attention of the American audience. Mr. Sacerdoti speculated, I think it is interesting because I think Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have aimed themselves at a U.S. market.
now they are not part of the working royal family it was fascinating to see them engage in that sort of fake royal tour. It was basically just a holiday in New York and it turns out, from the concealed microphones and the cameraman following them who wasn't known to most of the other press lot there, it seems it was a working trip.